video. Today's video is another one from my series of product empties. In this series, I tell you, I give you mini reviews of all the products in general. Most of these are actually beauty products. Today we have a mix of skin, makeup and hair care sitting in front of me. I usually have a really big box of product empties but I randomly go ahead and select like 10, 12 products every time. If you guys have not seen any of my previous product empties videos, I'm going to go ahead and link it in for you somewhere here. So please make sure you guys check that out because it might come in really helpful if there's a product that I've really liked and you get a review and you can go ahead and purchase that. Or if there's a product that I did not like, maybe you could save some coins, not go ahead and buy that. I've also done a couple of different videos like products I regret buying or beauty tools you shouldn't really waste your money on. I'll go ahead and insert my anti-haul playlist link here somewhere as well. So please make sure you check those out. But let's not make this intro any longer. Let's dive right into the mini reviews of the product empties I have sitting in front of me right now that we're going to talk about in today's video. Okay, let's dive right into it. First things first, in case you're wondering, Anam has long hair suddenly. Well, she doesn't. She's wearing extensions. Um, I talked about this in another one of my videos. Don't know whether that's going up before or after, but basically, I've been feeling really bad about missing my old hair, pre-accident hair. So these extensions um, I got custom made in Jan and no, in Feb, Feb, yeah, Feb end. And um, I'm finally wearing them. I don't know why I haven't worn them in like general videos for a while. I have worn it for a wedding in the middle, but yeah, that's why I have long hair. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about these products. The first product that I have that I want to talk about is Osmo's Purple Shampoo. If you have ever gotten your hair colored blonde, you will be very familiar with the idea and the term of purple shampoo. If you are not, then you will have the same reaction that I had when someone told me to go buy purple shampoo. I was like, what? Basically, purple shampoo is shampoo that helps you cut out the yellowness from your hair. So if you've colored your hair a lighter shade than it actually is, and um, it basically like once you bleach your hair the natural sun rays inserts a lot of yellowness a lot of extra warmth into your hair and if your hair is colored you don't want that yellowness i'm gonna go ahead and insert one of my pictures where my hair is really yellow and i didn't even realize it um well using a shampoo like this cuts out that warmness and keeps your hair color looking and feeling cooler so uh, cooler in terms of not cooler huh? like little cooler like warm colors cool colors um, I love this purple shampoo Osmo's silverizing it's also called a silverizer shampoo like a silverizing shampoo um, and the slang for it is like purple shampoo so this one is really 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 great I would take a normal shampoo and then conditioner so I would shampoo this leave this into my hair for like five seven minutes a couple of times when i went to like maldives or when once i came back from queensland um because i spent so much time on the beach and my hair did get really really yellow i would come back and leave it in my hair for like 20 minutes or half an hour it doesn't damage your hair it helps you with your hair color and it also takes care of your hair this is all of the advice that i was given from multiple hairstylists so the Osmo one gets a huge thumbs up from me because I thought it was really really nice. You can instantly see a difference in your hair when you like have like blonde hair and then you like color it and then you have the yellowness and then the yellowness getting taken away. So this is something you should totally get if you have lightish cool toned hair. The next product I have is from the L'Oreal Siri Expert range. This is a hair balm and I've literally even cut it open and used it. That's how squeaky clean it is. Um, after the hair tragedy of Jan 2020, somehow that is coming up a lot recently uh, because I've been talking about hair a lot recently. Um, I was recommended to use this from the team at L'Oreal Professional who did my hair color, not the damaged one, the correction one. They were amazing. They also colored my extensions to match my, my hair. Um, they gave me this and asked me to use this on a regular basis on my tips as well as well, these are extension tips not these tips on my like actual hair tips um and i could feel my tips getting less dry naturally because i use a lot of heating tools in my hair guys because i'm always like because of my job right like i'm always required 
to either have my hair straightened or curled or styled in some way to make sure I can sit here and look presentable. So right now, one of the main reasons I've actually pulled out my um, extensions, and you will probably see me wearing these a lot more, is because I'm avoiding heating tools right now. So I guess my strategy is going to be to wear my extensions more often so I can skip the heating tools for a while. But um, this is really, really, really great if you have damaged hair. Um, I don't just have this. I have a few other products from the L'Oreal series range also which I'm using but they're not here today because those are not empty I'm only sharing my empties today okay I'm gonna talk about a product that I don't necessarily love right now and very surprisingly it is from a brand that I really really love I'm talking about this makeup cleanser from Huda Beauty now Huda Beauty's makeup removing balm is something that I saw so much talk about online and I was expecting to love it so my own heart was a little bit broken that I didn't. Um, I guess the benchmark for, for a makeup removal balm for me is as high as like Clinique. I'm not on the Clinique PR list. I have not been for a few years. I got taken off their PR a while ago for whatever reason, even I don't know. But I buy all my Clinique products. I buy all my Smashbox products. I buy all of my MAC products. I haven't received PR from any of these brands for a while now. Um, like all of these sister brands basically and uh, I I can give you my 100% honest opinion that, that the, the TTDO, the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm is freaking amazing. So I guess that was the benchmark I tend to compare this with. By itself, this is a nice product but if I had to go and make a purchase and pick one of the two, I would probably gravitate towards the TTDO because I know my full face of makeup will come off. With this, it would come off but the effort was more and I just feel like when you're buying a product that's not exactly drugstore, you want to make sure that it comes off with as little effort required as possible. So this one, unfortunately, I would recommend skip. Okay, then we've got Smashbox's Photo Finish Primer. I have loved and praised this primer for a very long time. Having said that, there is an amazing dupe for this. If you don't want to be spending this, I will not be repurchasing this. The Color Bar Primer is actually really, really great and gives you a similar effect as this particular one over here. Apart from that, uh, the Lotus Primer, I'll, I'll link in all of the products that I really like down below in the info box. As I'm saying that, I realize we're in lockdown, so I'm not sure if I'll get access to links, but if it's been lifted by the time this video goes up, check the info box for links. Um, so the Color Bar Primer is really, really great. The Lotus Primer was surprisingly really, really great, and it's become one of my go-to products. Uh, Color Bar's Primer Oil is also something that I'm really, really loving right now. Um, apart from that, which other primers do I really like? Flor Mar is another one of my really nice primers, but you don't get Flor Mar in India. Um, you know what, I will add a couple of recommendations for primers for you guys down below in the info box with this one. So go ahead and check that out. This is a really great primer by itself. I'm just trying to give you options that will not make you spend as much money. You know what I mean? Okay, here's a product that I really, really grew to love. What I have in my hand is the Glutawise Serum. And first of all, can we just appreciate the really cool packaging? Um, so the this comes off. And then you like pump the injection on your face. Did I just spritz the last bit of serum left in it? I tried to use this last night and it was over. So I thought it was over. Yeah, it's over. Now nothing's coming out. Well, I need to go find where the serum went and wipe it clean. Otherwise my white table will have serum on it. And I don't know, my cat could slip. Uh, my point is, this is a really great product. It has really cool packaging. It's something that I started using a lot once I got it. Um, I am planning to get another one of these as soon as the lockdown is lifted. Uh, one of the really cool things about this particular product is that it's a Swiss brand, so like they don't have nasties and stuff in them. Apart from that, what I really loved about this product was that unlike so many other serums, it's not like thin and like oily or anything like that. It actually felt like I was wearing a primer on my face, which was really unique and I really liked it. Um, apart from that, I felt my skin just feeling really good. I couldn't see a change like visually, but I could feel the change in my skin. And I feel like this product should get some credit for that. Okay, you guys have heard me talk about the Wella Eye Me Thermal Image Heat Protectant Spray so many times. Um, honestly, like 
I, I, this is not sponsored by Vela, but it should be because I don't think I can have a conversation about hair care without bringing up some of these Vela Aimee products. Um, this is a really, really, really great range of products, and the thermal heat protectant spray is my favorite. I have lost the dhakkan because I travel with this baby all the time. It's always like everywhere. Um, this was my last one, so I need to make another purchase. I had. Was it this or was it the dry shampoo? I think it was the dry shampoo. I had in a big size as well as a small one. Um, this is really, really great. One thing about heat protectant sprays that I want to highlight is that so many of us um, use it just before we straighten or curl our hair. But if you're someone who really wants to take care of your hair, you can actually spray this on any random day as well. Because we live in like really tropical climates and we have a lot of like heat, obviously, right, all over India. Um, especially here in Bombay, things can get really hot. And keeping that aspect in mind, I would just randomly spray this on my hair, even when I was not using a heating tool. Because I realized that the air is just so hot in general that this can only do my hair good. It can't damage it. So yeah, need to repurchase this baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down to the last two products. I feel like I should talk about the only makeup product over here. Oh, not makeup. There was primer also. I feel like I'm gonna talk about this particular blush next. This one is a tart blush that you've seen me use a lot. Now I have more than just hit pan on this particular brush blush. Uh, this is literally the state it is in right now. It's like pretty much almost cleaned out with like powders a little bit. Um, this is in the shade Party. I loved this blush. This blush was actually something I got at Sephora in, I want to say Singapore. To, I'm confused whether at one of the international Sephoras. I basically got it free at the checkout counter because I had shopped so much. Um, so keeping that in mind, they like asked me to pick a few couple of free things and this was one of those. This is a really great blush if you're around my skin tone because it gives you that really nice flushed look. And I love Tarte as a brand also. FYI, on my last trip to America, Los Angeles in May 2019, I literally went hunting for the Tarte Shape Tape and my shade was sold out everywhere. So that's something I'm still really waiting to try. Like I've tried it with like makeup artists and stuff. I'm waiting to own. Next and the last product we have is the Nivea Frangipani uh, Fragrance Shower Gel. Frangipani and Oil Fragrance Shower Gel. Um, I know it's strange that I'm like putting a shower gel in here. Is it strange? It shouldn't be strange. It really shouldn't be strange. Because I basically put anything and everything related to beauty in here. Um, I loved the fragrance of this shower gel. It was so, so good. Um, I love, like Nivea is a brand I love in general and I've been using and know of since I was a kid. I don't know if you remember, but like when I was like a kid, my 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 grandfather's sister would have like this um, tin Nivea ka dabba kept next to her at all, like all times, which is one of my first memories of Nivea as a brand. Like it immediately reminds me of like my grandfather's sister. Um, and I feel like that's one of the reasons this brand will always have like a little bit of a special place in my heart. So I actually added one of these Nivea products into my shower after really long. I received this one in PR by the way and I was really in love with the fragrance. If you're looking for something that smells amazing, this might be it. Also major, major bonus to the fact that Jerry approved of this because like he's always like telling me, you add very girly fragrances into the bathroom. Why are so many of these floral? And I can't help it. I like those. So I tend to kind of throw those into the shower. Um, but he also really like, really liked this one and was using it himself as well. So major props. Okay, there you go. That wraps up our little round of product empties for today. I do have more product empties already and that particular box always has things piling up in it. I can't do everything in one video. Where's the fun in that? Um, also, those videos will just be never ending. Go ahead and let me know what you think of my extensions. This look down below in the comments. Um, and please hit like on this video. It helps me with my YouTube algorithm if you do that. And tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. Hopefully you already have by now. And turn those bell notifications on. That will keep you coming back for more. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you guys. Bye. I love you.